Hey guys, Jack here. Today I'm bringing you a velocity tutorial on Sunny Vegas. Um, this has been quite a highly requested um, thing that I show people. Um, so I thought instead of showing people through Discord, I'll just record a video and then you can rewatch this um, and learn how to use velocity. So this is within Sony Vegas Pro 14, but it doesn't matter what version of Vegas you have, it should apply to any version, even the really old ones. So to save time, I've already selected a clip and a song. So first of all, with any clip, you wanna right click it, go to properties, and disable the resample. Just make sure to always disable resample of anything you put because if it's not disabled, I will show you an example. You can see here on the Barrett, there's blur. All right, so to get rid of that, you right click, properties, disable resample, okay. The blur is gone. What you need to do next is select the audio track, push U on your keyboard, and then click delete. That'll delete the audio because you don't want the audio Instead, you can use gunshot sounds. And if you need gunshot sounds, I could just put them in the description because I've got sounds recorded for every single sniper on Cold War. All right, so now that we've done that, we've got the song. So again, if, if the song's got video attached to it, just push U and delete the, uh, the video. Obviously, we don't want that. So this is... If you're starting out with Velocity, I really recommend using a song with a solid beat the whole way through. Don't pick an awkward song because it's just going to make life hard. So if you listen to this song, you can hear it. It goes boom, boom. It's just a really easy beat to sing to. So let's go ahead and start editing the clip. So what I normally do first is I find the first kill of the clip. So this is literally here. And then I snip it by clicking S on the keyboard on the, on the frame that he shoots. And then everything before that, you can right click it and delete it. So now we've got this, this is the first shot. Once we've got that, you just get the song. And I'm just gonna sync it to the really easy part, which is this part here and you just listen to it and you mark the beats of the song all right so we'll let it play out a little bit to put a marker down you push M on your keyboard so listen to the song carefully on every single beat just push that M key okay so now that I've got the markers down we could go ahead and sync the clip so let's drag the clip down. Now this is something you should do for all edits. So always leave the top track empty, okay? You come over to this green circle here, you click on it and you click on the multiply mask option. After that, you go to your media generators tab, scroll down and find solid color, select white, drag it in. And now you can see this white box, just drag it all the way to the end. Once you've done that, click on the crop icon. Maintain aspect ratio, click no, and then simply drag up. As you can see, it gives a cinematic feel. It adds black bars to the edit. So just adjust it to your liking. You only want it to be minimal. So, you know, that looks nice. You don't want it like that or anything. So um, just be sensible with it. It just gives the edits a lot more of a cinematic feel. All right. And if your previews ever lag in, just select this and put preview, put quarter. All right, and it's not gonna lag as much. So we've got the first shot here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag back out and just cut it on the first shot. So we've got the very first shot here. And I'm just gonna let it play. And then you find the second shot. So that's the first shot. And this is where the velocity happens, guys. So find the second shot, cut it, and then to get it, now that we've cut it, okay, so we've got the shot here. Now that we've cut it, you have to drag it to a beat. So to do that, you 
hover over this part, you push control on your keyboard and drag it out. That slows down the clip a little bit, but it gets it on the next beat. So this shot is now in sync, as you can see, ready? You can see it shoots exactly on the beat. Sometimes you have to make the clip quicker. So just do that if the beat's closer to your left, just make the beat quick. Um, drag the clip so it's quicker. All right, so we've got this part in sync. That part's in sync. Now this marker here, I'm gonna snip it. So push the S to make it into two parts. And now we're gonna apply the velocity. Now this is what you're here for. All right, so. Watch carefully. To add velocity, just right click on the clip, select the insert remove envelope option and click velocity. It's the only option there normally, so you can't go wrong. And what you need to do for the for each snippet, you go one quarter in, double click, three quarters in, double click, double click and drag one to the very end. Okay, so we got four markers here. Let me make this clearer. Oh, that doesn't help too much, to be honest. But you've got four squares. One there, one there, one there, one there. That's going to be the same for every single snippet, okay? Always on the left, you set it to 300%. So right-click it and put it to 300%. On the right, right-click it, put it to 300%. The two middle ones, right-click and 50%. Okay, so it's 300, 50, 50, 300. This is exactly how I sync every time. Now this is very important, these slopes here, the one on the left, you right click the slope and you set it to fast. The one on the right, you right click the slope and set it to slow. So fast is on the left, slow is on the right. And now this is a <clears throat> clip with velocity. You can see, you can see it's moving with the um, music. Now, because these clips are the same speeds, because it's the same part, what you can do, you can duplicate it. So just right click on the left side, copy, and paste it. All right, now watch. Now you can see that. So that's the first shot done. Now let's move on to the second one, so. What we need to do now is find the second, the third shot. So this is the second one. So what you can do for, for the second shot, just snip it on the next beat. Every single beat, you're basically going to snip these into pieces. That's what you're going to do for the whole edit. All right. Now for this clip, we're going to apply velocity again. So right click, insert, velocity, one quarter in, fifth, uh, three quarters in, and then you want one at the end. And it's on the left hand side, 300, right click the slope, fast. All right, 50%, 50%, right click the slope, slow. Right click that, 300%. All right, so it's 300, 50, 50, 300. As you can see, that's now synced. So we need to find the third shot. So I'll find that now. So the third shot is a hit marker. If it's a hit marker, just leave it out. All right, this is the actual kill. So I'm going to snip it on the third shot. I'm going to delete everything prior to it. I'm going to drag this shot all the way back to our main part of the edit. Now that we've got the third shot on the beat, so exactly on the beat, you drag it out, you push S on your keyboard, and then we need to put velocity here. Now, what we can do, because these two snippets are the exact same speed, you can right click that, copy, and right click on here and paste, and it puts it all there for you. Sometimes you need to readjust the dots, as you can see it's not at the very end. These always need to be at the very end. So drag it, right click it and make it 300%, alright? Now these two clips have got the exact same velocity. And if you watch, you can see how it's synced. So what we've done here, instead of fast forwarding it a bunch, we've just cut it to the next shot, okay? A lot of editors just fast forward their footage. It doesn't look clean. We've just skipped to the next shot. We've skipped all of the running. We've just gone to the third shot and brought it back here. All right, and then we'll do the fourth shot. 
And conveniently, the fourth shot is exactly on the next beat. That happens sometimes. So you push S to snip it, and you put velocity in again. Because these are all the same speed, you can copy and paste the velocity. All right, I did this a lot. As you can see, that's perfectly synced. So we go on to the fifth shot. So you find the fifth shot, which is here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of there's a lot of time between the fourth shot. So you've got the fourth shot here, and then look at all the running and stuff, all right? So what we'll do, we'll just cut it, we'll just cut all of this running out and just go straight to the next shot. So you delete here, we've got the fifth shot, you drag it back to the next beat, you drag this out, you push S on your keyboard, and again, it's the exact same speed, so you can copy and paste the velocity. All right, now watch. <laughs> All right, we've, we've skipped all of the running. Now we'll do the sixth shot. So this one is here, this is the sixth shot. You snip it. As you can see, it's not on the beat, so you need to control at the end of the snip it and drag it to the next beat. This slows it down a little bit. But it makes sure the shot's on the beat. Once you've done that, we can't copy and paste the velocity, okay, for this one, because if I try, because I'm copying everything on this snippet, if I paste it here, it's going to mess with the speed. As you can say, you can see the zigzags have gone. So that means the speed has been reverted to default. Okay. So here we're going to have to manually insert the velocity. So one quarter in, three quarters in. All right. And then we'll work from the left. So 300%, click the slope, fast. 50%, 50%, click the slope, slow. Right at the end, it's 300%. Now we can drag the shot back and watch. And now we're doing the final shot. So it's here, snip it, control and drag it to the next beat so it's in sync. And again, we're gonna have to manually insert the velocity. So 300%, hopefully you guys are getting the hang of it now. 300%, fast, 50, 50, slow drag that back and now you can see it's all in sync perfectly in sync for the last shot we'll add some velocity so snip it on the beat as i said every single marker you're probably going to be snipping it for the velocity because this is a normal speed clip i can find one of my snippets with normal speed i can right click it and copy it and I can paste it on this normal speed snippet and it puts the velocity on there. So that is how to do velocity, okay? So now we've got a fully synced clip here and I'm just gonna let it play out. It looks a little bit weird, but we've not got any gunshots in it yet and we've not got any effects. Those will be covered in another video. This is simply for velocity, okay? So as you can see, every single marker we marked originally, the clip has been split, so we can sync it to every single beat and it flows with the music. So I'll just play it once more. And then if you guys wanna know how to do screen pumps and crop, I'll be covering that in the next video as well as shots. So here we go. <laughs> As you can see, it perfectly syncs. So next, we're going to cover gunshots and crop. 